Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm showing the 2009 Nissan Tita that just came in. It's got 38,000 kilometers on it, which is only 23,000 miles. Uh, but before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you get out here, okay? So with that, let's go ahead and take a look around. We'll show the features inside, but first I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, gonna answer a lot of your questions. So things like the JCI, the road tax, the warranty, I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end, you'll have all the answers. If not, go ahead and contact me or uh, stop on by. And please bear with me, I'm like the only person in Okinawa that gets cold in July, every year. Anyway, uh, this uh, Nissan Tita is a five passenger vehicle in the 500 series category, so the mid-size category. Road tax per year is gonna be uh, 7,500 yen, which is about 58 bucks right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we'll take care of it for you this year. You won't have to worry about it the next. Now you do have two ways to pay for this. Uh, the first one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or you can take advantage of zero percent finance for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down to reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our companies do like 500 to 1,000, some do even more. Before we get started, we like showing rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is going to you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. Okay, so let's jump on in. Let's get this baby started. All right. And actually, I should have showed you this. If you can look uh, right here when I start it, you're going to see a light green and a red uh, thermostat looking thing. You see those two right there on the right side? Just keep those in mind, okay? All right. Turn this radio off. I need to turn this off. This one? Okay. Sorry, Troy. All right. 38,238 on the odometer. Showed a couple of warning lights. Where'd that other one go? There you go. Uh, obviously up there, that's your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And then that one right there is your emergency brake. It's not, <coughs> excuse me. It's not a low pressure tire gauge. I know it looks similar, but it, it's a kick type. So when you kick it, disengage it, go uh, kick it again, comes right back on. And then the two little ones that I told you to look towards the right, that light green one is your new temperature gauge. So it's gonna be light green when the engine is cool. It'll go away like it is now when the engine is warm. And then the red one will show up if it's overheating. So be on the lookout for that, okay? Other than that, just a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Everything pops up on the dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Off to the left here, you do have a compartment for some storage and it's like you got a microfiber in there already. Um, you got your radio. This one does have a rear camera. You have your air conditioning controls. Um, cup holders in front of the shifter, the shifter itself. You do have this uh, armrest slash console, okay? And you could put that out of the way and you have a compartment here maybe for some coins or whatnot and you do have a power outlet, okay? Continuing off to the left, you have this deep pocket um, um, glove box and then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. And then this is your passenger space over there. You got your red roof flare hanging out and this is the space I have on my side. Uh, hold on a second. This is actually a power seat. This is very rare for a Tita, and it actually has uh, memory settings too. So this is, I think, the first one we've had that actually had a power seat. Uh, but this is my leg room over here. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, I'm comfortable right where I am. I can slide this up a little bit if I have an uh, uh, extra tall person behind me, uh, but I'm pretty comfortable. And before I forget, let's show you this little guy right here. Uh, that's the electronic <coughs> Excuse me. That's your ETC reader. <clears throat> ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. Works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway here. Okay? So let's go. Where was I? Let's go eye level. Well, before we go eye level, it does have a, a sunglass compartment as well. All right. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. Okay. And normally this time I show you the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind, non-accident vehicle. Many dealers can't say that. We can, okay? Uh, but because it just came in, uh, I keep those inside until it's been detailed. Once it's been detailed, it's going to go up here on the sun visor on the driver's side, okay? Um, so let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. You do have your uh, door locks and, and uh, window controls on the door panel here. I already showed you this, uh, two settings that you can have for your seat. 
Uh, on the right side, bottom of the dash, you do have your mirror controls. A little uh, space here made for some coins or whatnot. And then please don't forget down here, you have your two uh, levers. Uh, first one on the right side is your gas cover release, and the one on the left is your hood release. Okay, so let's turn this baby off. Go to the back seat. Okay. Yeah, these are done up really nice. <clears throat> Uh, I did have this uh, recline a little bit more, but with, but with the seat all the way back, all the way down, I'm still a good two, two, two and a half inches away from the back seat to my knees. Nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you do have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. Um, always be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each seam. And then a little bit of storage on each uh, door panel. And then you do have this center console that's going to give you two cup holders. Okay. Let's go to the back here. And it's got this deep pocket uh, space back here and then you can uh, by pulling those tabs you can put those forward and you but you will have the hump it doesn't go all the way flat let's go to the uh, engine compartment they're gonna wrap this video up here you go this is a 1.8 liter engine which will be cleaned during the detailing process they have a 2009 Nissan Tita, and this is the hatchback. They do have um, a four-door sedan type too, um, but 38,000 kilometers on it, which again only 23,000 miles. Uh, military price goes down to 4,500 with additional military discount. We'll get it down to 4,300. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts, and we'll get you a lower price. But for now, the 4,300 is going to include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper warranty, the 2022 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement, whether you go on liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Uh, just touch on the warranty for a little bit. I know there's places with two-year warranties, but I got to tell you, they're not the best thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're not the best thing since sliced bread. So if you're uh, basing your decision solely on a two-year warranty uh, to buy, you know, buy it from that dealership, I would definitely reconsider and stop by over here, and we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go out to the dealers, see what they have, go out to other, uh, or go to the Lemon Lounge, see what everybody else has. But definitely stop by Johnny's Used Cars. Let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how it can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Stop by, we'll show you why, just like we have many others. Okay, so don't forget, two ways to pay for it, U.S. dollars cash out right, or take advantage of 0% finance for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.